Hey there! Let's talk about naming decimal places. Now, each decimal place in a number has a value, so each digit represents a different kind of decimal value. So for the ones digit, that would be a 2. For the tens digit, that would be a 1, but that would represent 10 as the tens digit. For the hundreds, that would represent 100, so 3 would be representing 300. So we say this number as 300, 1, 2. We can say 312 by combining the last two. Some other ones you need to know are thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions, and so on to infinity. So these are the basics for naming decimal values. And what you can also do is you can add a decimal to the end of the number, and we call this the AND. So we can say this is the AND, and that's how we say decimal. And if we have a number at the end, let's say 4, then we can say to the tenth. And for the other direction, we have tenth, hundredth, and thousandth, and so on, by just adding the TH instead of an S. So for the tenth, we would have a bloom with tenths, and another digit would be hundredths with an S. Thanks for watching.